Good morning, Kelsey. It's Sunday. I'm actually kind of excited because, as you might have known, I got my new Hank Green CD today. I also got the Time Lord Rock compilation album and the Chameleon Circuit album. But the thing I'm most excited about is that I got my John Green bobblehead today. Look, his feet say DFTBA. He goes right between the Doctor and Spider-Man. So I kind of look like a total mess today because we went hiking in Jack London State Park with my family because my parents were up this weekend and it was ridiculously hot. So I look like this and it's really late so I have to get this video done so I haven't like showered since hiking or anything. So sorry about that, at least you don't have smell-o-vision through YouTube, so count your blessings. Yeah, so my parents came up this weekend and I'm kind of pissed off because my stepfather is homophobic in the most ridiculous way possible. What I mean by this is that we're driving through San Francisco, like two blocks away from the Castro, and he is for some reason offended by the fact that there are two guys holding hands. In San Francisco. Maybe it's because I've been reading Gulliver's Travels, and reading it has made me think a lot about the dynamic between people in power and people who aren't, but I feel like I have to say something about why this kind of reaction to people walking down the street holding hands is unacceptable. In the final chapter of the book, Gulliver visits the island of the Huynhams, where there is a human-like species called the Yahoos there that are seen as being entirely devoid of reason. The Huynhams want to kill the Yahoos because they see them as being evil, so they hold a council in order to try and justify this action. There's an ancient legend among the Huynham people, who are horse-like, that the Yahoos couldn't possibly be from their country, and they in fact came from somewhere across the sea and then populated their island. And the quote is actually this, that there seemed to be much truth in this tradition, and that those creatures could not be aborigines of the land because of the violent hatred that the Huynhams, as well as all other animals, bore them. The Huynhams pride themselves on being a rational race, where emotion plays no part in their reasoning. Therefore, they would reject any argument to preserve the yahoos that was based on understanding or compassion because these are emotions that would flaw, that would create a flawed argument and decrease understanding. However, they use their great rational powers in order to justify their hatred. It seems to me that this quote-unquote rational argument exists well outside the fictional world of Gulliver's Travels, and that when we allow people to judge others based solely on gut feelings of dislike or hatred, we are in fact justifying this reasoning. And I don't want to live in a world where hatred is the only emotion that counts. This is me stepping down from my soapbox to say, Kelsey, I'll see you on Tuesday.